Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match of CCL number 45. We've got Beer Monkey and his rats versus Crimson Eek and his orcs. In the booth with me is Purple Chest and Muppet Pac-Man. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh. Uh, instant removal. Full instant removal <laughs> from a rookie. <laughs> Rookie lineman. Uh, Perhaps request a screen share. Oh yes, that's a, sorry. I I should have done that already, but I didn't, did I? Okay, there we go. Um, and yeah, we've got Glart and a wizard, and the bribe was not a inducement. It was it was a kickoff event for both sides. You hate when you play notes and you like. I have to put these black hooks in the OS. I've got no one else, and then they get removed, and you're like, "Yeah, yeah, it's totally." I mean, he could have put a. He could have gone for like troll and two black hooks in the OS to try to like really out muscle mm. them. But I guess it's too easy with Gl with Glad and. I mean, it's it's a it's a big gamble, Jim. It's what I don't hate as orcs because you do have to try and get on top of them and use what advantage you've got, which is your strength. It is your AD nine. It is your strength. Your your you know your ability to mass block, mass guard. Yeah. Um, and whilst you are going to get taken down, they will find a way to take down both black orcs and the troll, and hopefully use your lesser two black orcs. Uh, at least then you're standing up another you know thirteen strength in their face, which they're going to have to deal with the round after as well. And yeah. that's when it starts to become a real advantage to you. Usually on the first turn, it isn't that great. But on mm. subsequent turns, it can really, really help if you're prepared to take that chance. But it is taking a chance that your armor holds that first turn. Yeah, and he's piling in anyway. But look what he's done, right? He's, he could have put a guard in there, mm. and he could have three dice with tackle palm, and he's just two He's just two dice with just mighty blow. That's that's a bit weird, isn't it? I guess he really didn't want to follow on Glow. Yeah, I, which is is a very strange. I mean, this this it's both glarts, but it, it's a very very nice position to take out this early. Yeah, I would have, I would have at least liked to have three diced him anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this, yeah. this guy's totally. blodge. This guy's blodge. So he could have he could have held. Uh, he could have gone in there easily and yeah, at yep. least three dice him. And at, at this point in the drive, you really can't afford to take your best shots, can't you? Yeah. Because things are still developing, the rats are actually still stabilising, drawing back and looking at where they want to, you know, spring forward. So you, you absolutely could have afforded your best shot there. E even just swapping those black orcs and you get a free dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'm a seven storm vermin. It's not a great rat team, is it? He's got... It's... Yeah, I mean, it, it was another race, wasn't it, Skaven, that was extremely tight, this Chalice, uh, with some very, very high dote scores getting in. Yeah. So I think a lot of people felt a bit trapped. You know, they, they got a record and they just had to stop because anything, even a draw, would have taken them back down out of qualification. Yeah. And so we got a couple of rat teams in that, you know, would have loved to gain more or to replace the position or two that just didn't have the space to risk it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pedro. This might have been the team that had a uh, Adj5 Natty that got minus moved. I don't know if it was or not, I can't remember. But there was a team that had an Adj5 Oh yeah, that had an Adj5 I remember. Natty. It was at the bottom, wasn't it? And it was yes, it is. Next. I think it's Beer Monkey that has the missing next game yeah. Adj5 Natty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think so. Him. <laughs> I think so. I think this is exactly that team that is frozen, unable to really play the one game more if urgently needed. I also think it, it lost its ability to be a natty in that injury. It did, that yeah. makes it missing. Yeah, which which that game um, he was won, like he was parked, and that game was one he was forced to play to qualify. Well, exactly, yeah. He got, he got punished ultimately, and then, he, yeah, and then he couldn't afford to play another one in case it got worse, <laughs> like his record yep. got worse, so yeah. And if anyone out there is really thinking it's very sad that his AG5 natty <laughs> Uh, got both missing and uh, reduced in movement, then we can't be friends. <laughs> um, you're a bad person, and I, I, I don't want you in my life. <laughs> yeah. Right, so Glart is doing what he does, which is presumably creating a stunt. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty, pretty good at making stunts. <laughs> <you know? laughs> ah, well, there's a shock, he did. Um, yeah, I mean, him and the... Uh, 
every claw without might and lower is great at that, it's great at stuns. Um, it does get removals, but just not at the level that Claw Might is going to, obviously. It, it still generates the space that rats should need. A stun is usually fine. Yeah. Well, it's like Norse, yeah. isn't it? You know, you eat their armor seven and you often don't slaughter them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, Ooh. huge foul. <laughs> Of course, making use of the bribe, and there comes the apple. Ooh. So yeah, I, I guess scared of the like there was a dirty player and there was a bribing player, wasn't there? So I guess that's why yeah. he didn't he didn't go for the pile on blitz on the gutter. But it, I still think he should have made it three D. Yes, making it three D was definitely better. Um, you're right, it is that. I hadn't realised a bribe was there in the inducements. That does change the. You know, do you wish to pile on to the best piece early? Um, and probably changes it to a no, doesn't it? So fair enough. Yeah. Um, numbers are looking quite key here, interestingly, um, mm. for the drive, if not for the game, because you know both are quite long on the bench. So rats, of course, AD seven. You don't expect the many of them to last. Mm. Could have just said that now. I expected you to keep talking, PC. Unbelievable. Sorry. Un unbelievable. Purple chest stopped talking. <laughs> 8th of March, 2022. Only <laughs> <Holy> joke. <laughs> yeah, OBS Just crashed. With an accent and a curse. <laughs> Uh, OBS crashed on a couple of games, so yeah, this this was done. This was already been on Twitch before, but um, but now it's getting redone for YouTube. 100% so dedicated. You don't say anything about meeting people on a Tuesday, for example. Yes. <laughs> Family friendly rules apply. Yes. <laughs> Unlike Skaven play, which, I mean, it's, it is thematic, isn't it? I would love to see Skavens less reliant on natties and near natties. Um, they do have so much, but it adds up to so little sometimes. Yeah, they're you know, cheap linemen, mutations, speed, agility. It often matters on the matchup as well how much of that they can use and how much of it they just will they're better than me at it, so I guess I can't do that. I mean, they literally have everything, don't they? Natural strength access, natural agility access, speed, agility, cheapness, mutation access. It, it's the team that can do absolutely everything, but um, so often just wiped off the field. Yep. Oh, he made an accidental free dice. Good job, him. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly hard for this extremely guard laden, very strong team to not hit a gut free dice. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, you feel they can manage it. Uh, he's, he's, yeah, he's really trying to hold the space against these rats, which is is great if you can control the gutters. That's always the problem there. Yeah, yeah, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to be concerned about the switch, haven't you? Like this is maybe yeah. too hard. Like maybe, maybe yeah. this 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 blitzer needs to hold out here because if you if you, you can over pursue and then they they, they reverse yes. the field and you are uh, up shit yeah, creek absolutely. without a problem. And, and no one is as good at reversing the field as rats, even elves, because they've just got that pace to get beyond you. And when you try and respond to it, the rest come piling through and and they swap sides usually as they do that, and suddenly there's like eight of them. <laughs> if you haven't deleted quite a few of them first, the, the orcs haven't managed to do that. There's, there's very few rats even going down, let alone going off right now. Yep. And they have left that strength three orc um, tagging a gutter runner, which it won't do much to stop, <laughs> and also being tagged by a downed rat, which could have blitzed it off free in that gutter runner if they wanted to score this turn. It was doable. Yep. But he's, he's gone for the stalls, isn't he, for sure? Yeah, absolutely. He's backfield stalling this because that was a, such an easy option that the rats could have taken advantage of to be you know, stalled up in the stall square at the other end of the pitch. So he's chosen not to. He's more focusing on these fouls. Yeah, I mean, and, and why not? I mean, look at the strength of this rat team. They're all still there. What a beautiful foul he's let up here. Four assists on another key orc. Yeah. Only stuns him. To be fair, backyard Dodo, that was that was a starting a starting rookie Skaven team. I I fear is pretty terrible, right? Because they they they're just thralls with goblins. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, once you get skills in the gutters, they're incredible. You know, completely incredible yeah. with skills. But I feel like rookie gutters aren't that good. 
Well, the whole team isn't. And yeah, as I said, it's got everything. And it can do everything, but it so often doesn't. Yeah, eventually. Chances are eventually both it... brilliant and overrated at the same time, aren't they? That's yeah. I would agree. I mean, eventually it gets them, right? You know, one turn claw, but without yeah. without a movement 10 player, without an edge 5 player, without wrestle, tackle, strip, or whatever, and without yep. uh, claw mighty, yeah, without a bench, without dirty player, without all of the things that Skaven can do. They start with AV7 alignment. Yep, <laughs> AV7 strength 2 important pieces they have to keep safe. Only two blocks, and even those don't have AV9. And a terrible big guy. I mean, they don't start particularly easy. It's just that the gutters are so damn good. Yeah. I mean, thankfully they don't have to take the big guy, unlike other teams, which are like, like Norse. If they don't have the Yeti, they're pretty shit. <laughs> but then the Yeti's still shit anyway. Now, even with the all, we've got a one on the handoff. Oof. We've also blocked our path forwards, which is interesting. Yeah, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? I thought it was gonna. Make a play, but he's not. He's just. No, gonna... It looks like it's just a change of gutter on the ball, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't like any of this, Jim. We were in such a beautiful position after that foul. We had Glart protected when he couldn't get hit, so he could easily have done our blitz. We only had one orc up ahead of us, which was Mr. Throw, who's still up there, able to get to this gutter runner if he chooses to, because he's plus agility. Yeah. And. Instead of sort of piling around that stun door and trying to seize this flank really aggressively, we did a handoff that was a bit odd, cost us a little bit. haven't gained a lot of space, and I've now got the orbs right back in our face. I mean, thankfully, they didn't choose to you know, move the troll back over this way, which would have taken two turns and would now be halfway there. But at least that did get abandoned, and there's a little bunch of orbs we've left behind. But it's a lot weaker than it looked like it could have been, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you would definitely wanted more out of that as the rats. And now the person getting hit is our pobber. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean the orcs have responded to this, frankly appallingly, which is great for the rats. <laughs> <laughs> is that a young... huge hole, Jim? It is. It's, some people would call this a gaping hole, you know. Well, I mean the GFIs right at the end there have, have shored it up, but yeah. It's always lovely when your position is terrible until the last guy makes his final GFIs. <laughs> yeah. But there may be some sarcasm there for those not picking it up. <laughs> but it did end all right, so let's give him the credit there. Yep. Um, Huge power there. Ball, yeah, Huge. really then. That facilitates this blitz. Yep, I suggest we're swapping through this uh, fulcrum just ahead of the black hole in the space that Glass just created and moving across to the other side. Yeah. Ooh, I oh, did another, another handoff hand for some reason. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Because you could have moved what? this guy first and then, like, given it to him later, couldn't you? So then what the shuddering fuck... What, the, what was this <laughs> one about, do you think? Um, I don't know. It, it gets him unhittable. I guess the two GFIs get, gets him unhittable. Yeah, it gets him out so of range. Actually, yeah, so the, the handoff first is fine. He can just be based. Yeah. Yeah, actually. It's, it just makes the first one much more confusing, though, Jim. Yes. But I guess it pulled the orcs even further over to the side, so perhaps. Yeah, it did. Perhaps it was a good play. But I mean, they, they are only two pluses, anyway. aren't they? They, yeah, they had to just anyway, and that's the thing. It's it's the way orcs are. They're slow, so they, yeah. they've they almost got to overcommit to cover to cover one side, which means they may, they, they've got to expose themselves because they're just, yeah. they're just slow as balls aren't they like they're really like that is the big weakness of orcs and it's why yep. humans do a lot better against skaven than orcs do because orcs are just so slow they are so slow look at mr phil there he's almost made it maybe next turn, yeah. maybe turn I, mean, is, you know, I mean i'm niggling at them but you know this was some very good rat coaching the, the yeah. side swap has completely outflanked those orcs it's exploited their big weakness as jim says their pace is their huge weakness it's, it's now 1 in 30 seconds, which should be fine, obviously. To score on turn 8, which is, is perfect for the rats. Uh, they've taken very little attrition, and they have dominated the drive and the shape of every turn in their drive. Yep. So job done. And they left nothing chainable to get you know, in range of this ball or anything, so it's it's good. You'd it, love to be one pace further away, so there wasn't even the 1 in 30 seconds, but it's it's fine. Great drive. Well yep. done, Beardwinky.
See, you don't need a AG5 Natty, you can actually just coach and win Blood Bowl games. <laughs> yeah. What? It's a lot easier with Strength 5 or Raj 5 though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, these things are, you know, great pieces and will dominate games and become legendary, but it's it's not possible to win with that. <laughs> it just isn't possible. <laughs> Yeah, it was a permanent gutter. Oh, oh, that, would, that would have been an advantage to moving the gutter, f the other gutter first that did the GFIs. Um, because if you moved him first and then moved like two and passed to him, then uh, he would have been he would have been out of range of that pawn. But no, I think it was definitely right to do the handle first. Yeah, now, now that I knew he could completely uh, be unhittable. Beautiful situation for the rats now, where if they choose to, if they feel it's necessary, they can just lie down. In the second half, they can not defend, they can run away. Let the Orcs score for 1-1 one, one, and either try and pull off a near natty push for the one turn or 50-50 of getting the ball in overtime. And then if they feel they need to, they can try and defend in overtime. So they've, they've got lots of tactical options now. Which and if really all happy. else fails, they have the wizard. Yes. Yeah, which they've kept dry. So, you know, loads and loads of ways of turning these Orcs over, turning yeah. it to their advantage. Yeah. All and, looking good. And to answer Spooky Beans, why no apple? Um, because it's his worst gutter, and yeah. the, there's still a bribe for the orcs. There's still uh, a mighty blow tackle. There's still a pom tackle, um, and he wants to save his apple for the good players. And like this is fine. It's a fine play, but also the fact it's a niggle means it's only it's only helping him in this game on a four plus. And it's like it's just it's just. Safer to not, <laughs> I think. I remember he's, I he's got a gutter that's missing that's coming back. Yeah, most and uh, most rat coaches are used to sort of rotating one of the gutters through missings, um, because you know they do get hit a lot and they do have AV7, so they do go off a lot. Yeah. Um, so you're usually quite used to coping with three of your four gutters, um, and he would much rather have the other three. So, yeah, as Jim says, it's, it's saving it for the players he feels are more key. Yeah. Often the only player that can protect your best gutter is another gutter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As was the exact case there, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. I don't know what the previous defence was, to be honest. Uh, I've already forgotten it, but... Uh, is, I think he's, he still had the guard uh, gutter on the LOS, so... Uh, it's pretty lucky to get the perfect defence to get he's him off the field. He's got the ball into the Goblin's hands. He's, we're trying the TCM. Yep. Which is that, I mean, that's a TTM screen. That's why those players are in the positions they're in. Yep. But he lands, he lands in two tackle he's zones! He's to stop the landing in two tackle zones! <laughs> Glorious. Holy hell, what a beautiful, beautiful TTM that was! And this is the why we have reason a... those players were in those squares was so that they make the landing harder because goblins can dodge through most back lining fairly <laughs> simply if you haven't got loads of guard, uh, tackle. Uh, five tackles is what you really need to back line against a... a Stunty TTM because then you can have them uh, two spaces apart each and have tackle on all three dodges through. Uh, but even then, anything else you've got, you scatter exactly where those players were in the landing zone for a TTM, trying to make that landing harder. He did that successfully. It was a good defence, but I think he must have pulled a six on the landing, wasn't he? He did, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he, brilliant. He brilliant. also rolled a one on the really stupid for the troll, and then Lorna re-rolled it, oh, so he had wow. no re-roll for the landing and just rolled the six. Wow! So just hard <laughs> six to. Wow. Sometimes, you know, one in six times, that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, everything I said about Necro, no, about Beer Monkey and his uh, his tactical position is completely different now, isn't it? Yeah. Now he has to turn the Orcs over, probably on this drive. Uh, he can't surely just leave himself a non-natty one turn to equalize this up. He has to either use the Wiz or find a way of getting hold of this ball. Yeah. I mean, he's got, yeah, he's got the Wiz. He's got a second half. Yeah. He has got the Wiz, yeah. And he's on a clock. He's gonna. He's gonna get pounded. He's gonna get pounded, isn't he, by these orcs? So yep. he's got. Uh, he's got to think. He's got to use it as soon as as soon as it's got a good payoff. I think because yeah, he's gonna get. He's gonna I think get you're crushed. Right. I think you use it while you've got the max numbers to try and take advantage of it. Yeah. Because probably that same turn you're gonna to need to step to some orcs, and that's gonna cost you some rats. Yeah, that's true, Shadow Dice. There was somebody who had a troll and no goblin, and it's like you've got you. I think you've got to give yourself that chance. Okay, it's a small chance, but a small chance is better than no chance, isn't it? And and he had it. it only cost him forty TV, and I think it was very worth it. 
<laughs> You're preaching to the choir here. I'm having not only do I coach goblins as a team, but I believe every old team should have a goblin on it. And not just for TTMs. Yeah. There are some defenses I would love to have a goblin on the pitch when facing. Uh, anything healthy. Because for a start, they'll always try and hit it because elves can't get casualties and they think they can casualty the goblin. So you can use that. And secondly, if they can't or don't, it's great at breaking through you know, those lines of defense, those walls of elves that we see, because it can dodge everything on a one in nine if it's not facing tackle. So ultimately, it might be your best way to get the touchdown done. Yeah. Um, so I, I do love coaching with the Goblin, and now that Mr. Throne's got even worse in the 2020 rules, I think that position is incredibly easy to defend and will spread. I think we'll see more and more of them. Versatile, AG3. Move six comes with dodge. There's lots to like about them at 40k. Especially as you can uh, you can do the Elliot's Goblin unicycle, can't you? And you, you don't yep. need to cycle them. You can just literally oh. save up for Arch. Yeah, yeah. If that's what you, yeah, if that's what you choose that you want, you can go for a stat. You can go for a, a secondary on it as its first ever skill, but almost certainly as it's the only uh, natural agility access on an old team. It'll take a sneaky get first, I thought, and then <laughs> yeah. save for DP. Yep. Yep. This is weird, isn't it? I think this is the opposite of what he had to do. Yeah, I, well, he's taking an orc out. That's, that'll be his defense to this, except he's not, he's stunning it. But no, I, I mean, why are we not? Where is this, this is the other half of the field? Yeah, that, yeah. that bit, Jim. Yeah, there might I'm be some space that. here. <laughs> Maybe you know me, that's, that's getting me physically excited, that much space. <laughs> yeah. With a batch team and I'm holding the ball. Yeah. I might just need to disappear for a minute. Um, well, and of course, look, and not only is it terrible because he's given him that space, but look who's piling up into it. It's not the select, the not the quick pieces, Jim. Yeah. It's three black orcs are leading that charge. It's the pieces you have to normally leave behind to seize space. <laughs> Yeah, this is not trap space, right? Trap space would be no. maybe would be maybe occupying up to here, right? And then trying to squeeze him down the sideline. Yeah. But the, he is not getting squeezed here. He is like multi-layering it wizard yeah. defense. Whilst also hopefully trapping one or two of their pieces behind on the other side of the field rather than just one and not the best one, but an all right one. Yeah. And as Jim says, the big thing about this is notice the difference between the, the first line of orcs and where the ball is. And how do you put a wizard into that much space and create the opportunity to take the ball away? Very, very tricky. Yeah. Even with a bolt and high agility or with a fireball and taking everything down within the fireball range, it's still a big, big ask. Wow. Well, so you got a perfect situation for the orcs. He got a huge cast, to be fair, in the end. Niggled, niggled that bludge guard. Glitter. Yeah. Uh, ruined, uh, ruined the day of Crimsonique there. <laughs> Maybe not, but still. That's a, that's yeah, a that's, big that's a horrible hit, isn't it? Yeah. Being a blitzer down next game, if he wins, this is going to be very rough. Yeah, huge, huge. Yeah, he had to open with a foul. He had a bribe, to be fair. Like, they, they both got a bribe from the uh, Get the Ref event. But So you're open with a foul so that you can move everybody afterwards. But, like, he's, not, he's still not got in the way. No. <laughs> I mean, I like the Glart Blitz because, of course, Juggernaut means you can don't have to be stuck on something on a one end night, which was what happened. But then instead of picking the usually the, the crap pieces for a wall in front of the orcs, he just went, no, keep going, it's fine. Oh, this is so much. But it's thinned a little, hasn't it? Yeah. Maybe. No, no, it hasn't. It's exactly the same width, sorry. <laughs> um, there's one more rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm lucky there. This no, is a little bit. He's, he's moved it off. There was one more rat on the file next to where the space is, but now there isn't. Yeah. No, it's exactly the same, just as bad. Chip. I don't know. I would have liked this guy to have been one in because it, it seems like it's a little bit. You know, like there's a there's a square here, isn't there? Which oh, you can't get to. But I would have still. Yeah. I, I, I don't yeah, know. No, I still yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. One further in is stronger. Your stream seems to have broken, Jim. You're joking me. But only to us. No, okay. to us. To the Discord stream. Okay, that's that's fine then. I was like, God, if this... Yeah, if this we, don't, we, don't, we don't matter. <laughs> okay. Okay. There you go. Low priority. Oh, no, that, that's just not working at all. Okay. So, Watch the stream. Yeah. Like, I'm, I've, tried, I've, pressed, I've clicked it. I can't do anything. Well, let's concentrate on what this is for. Yeah. 
there's a armor break from Glart on the Pommer. Yeah, and it's it's a nice blitz target if if all you're trying to do is a bit of attrition and, and <laughs> some sort of slight guerrilla tactics away. around the edges. It, it's nothing in terms of unsettling them or squeezing them or putting pressure on the ball at all, Jim, is it? Yeah, this I think right, let, let's pause it for a second here, right? Go in a yeah. free camera. And what look what a good defence this would be from the Skaven if these were the end zones. <laughs> It'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be a really good defence. That's a brilliant defence. This, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> like, it's right. a... I, I, I think we should try and call some positives on it because I really liked what Beer Monkey did in the first half. He, he's very effectively here stopping them swapping sides. He is keeping them nailed to that one side. He does have a whiz. Yeah. He's perhaps hoping the Orcs tighten up to the point where he sees a nice shot with the whiz. Or if somehow they go too quick and they have gone very quickly to the end zone, he can find a way to force them in. Yeah. I think they're too strong for either of those and they can defend mm -hmm. the space they've got right now. Yeah. I think I think That's he ceded too much space to them, and, yeah. but I, I can see the point that you kind of oh, okay. So there we go. So um, there's the whiz, um, and I think what you what you'd want to do if you're going to do do this route, yes. To be fair to be a monkey, don't want anyone to feel like they've been hard done by. Um, like if you, if you leave them a bit of space here. And then it's it's you're kind of preventing hits on your good players, aren't you? You you can yeah. argue that you're preventing hits at all, right? If you get in the way, maybe he piles in. This way, it's discouraging him from piling in, so you're taking less attrition. And then you can still then pile in one turn and then use the wizard after or use the wizard and pile in. But the problem is, it just makes your wizard that much less effective, doesn't it? Like, how on earth yeah. does he does he capitalise from this wizard here? It's really. No, I mean, I can I completely agree. Had we seen this still at 1-0, uh, with this would be a lot less surprising as a tactic. Yeah, it's um, the uh, Goblin Mountain that's screwed in, basically. And with it coming like this, I didn't feel this... Th that ball is a long way away from where these rats are, and hence a failed GFI already. Yeah. I mean, that ball is a long way away, Jim. It really is. Yeah. I, I would have liked to have seen, if you're going to pull this, uh, next turn as you're right, you have to come in, risk some rats, and squeeze them up a bit, and then go for the ball. Yeah. Like, the flip side of that is that he left nothing else near the ball carrier. Yeah. This would have been but a lot that, better if he'd had the player from the previous match, which was Adge 5 with two heads, who would have just <laughs> run through here. <laughs> no <Not> problems. <laughs> Lobbed it up and it would have yeah. been fine. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like he needed the armour break on the Mr. Throw with that wizard. No, he's, it. Planning, he's planning on yeah. a throw. He's going to throw it to the deep gutter that's just crossed the halfway line. Yeah. But it's, oh, it's a long way to go to get there. He had to dodge through tackle. Oh yeah, okay. One. And he rolled the one. Well, yeah, it was a super course, ambitious wizard. It really was. And the reroll went on the GFI to do the hit on the top corner. Yeah. Uh, it, it was. It was just left a lot to do, despite Mister Throw being all on his own. Yeah. Although that that wasn't great, was it? There should have been at least a bodyguard standing by. Him. Yeah, maybe it was a trap wizard, you know. But uh, yeah, I think he should have had something yeah, next to him. <laughs> I think he even just that that filth line orc, for example, just something, yeah. anything to complicate the the tackle zones a bit. Yeah, yeah. But what? It, it, it was such an ambitious wizard; you didn't expect it to come in. I suppose that's the defense of that. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, yes, you like you would like the wiz you would like the Skaven to make a bad wizard decision. But also, even a bad wizard decision against Skaven can can still cost you the game, can't it? So I would yeah. still want oh, yeah. I would still want to to you know have some protection there. Oh wow, there you go, what a foul! Right. Well, I mean, it had that worked, and it was only a two plus couple of two pluses on the go for it. So another two plus to pick up. Then maybe a four on the throw. It might have been a five um, on the throw. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think but even that an accurate been? throw would have been all right. I mean, yeah. it would have left a gutter on the edge, but it, you know, it would have probably, possibly won the game. Yeah. But it, it was a big, big ass chip. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. It was ambitious, but you know, maybe he thinks that's what he had to do, and maybe. But, I mean, look at this position. If he pushed in, he could perhaps have got them like this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, you can argue that <laughs> that the orcs definitely wouldn't have got them in this position against a wizard. But could you imagine just fireballing seven dudes? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it wouldn't be quite this tight, but still. 
But yeah, some of these to tighten them up, yeah. Like, it get... had the advantage of surprise, but not necessarily of being good. Yeah. I, I love to, how you see always players suddenly together after the wizards go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instant meat cube. <laughs> And even the trolls come running up. Yes, let's all be friends now. <laughs> I really, I really hate this blitz first. I think you've got to hit the gutter first, and like you know, maybe block off where the gutter can go to, or whatever. Like, but I think you hit the gutter first here, and then if you have to use your blitz on the on the gutter, then do that. You know, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But Glad doesn't stand firm in this version, does he? So I guess he was very likely to be moved. At least. Yeah. But I, but oh, I okay. just I just I just don't I care about this this gutter. Yeah. Here's Beer Monkey's defence, isn't it? Is that the turn he has stepping in, he's suddenly getting mass removed. Yeah. So this is what he was fearing and trying to avoid. So I mean this is what it was about for him and he'll defend it saying don't what happened or whatever. And it's that's a fair shout too. Yeah. Oh and he this guy died as well. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> That's his just team obliterated yeah. in one turn. <laughs> in fact, now if you say you should have stepped in earlier, he's going to attack you with a knife. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! And yeah, it wasn't that. But but yeah, that that's on Crimsonique that it was so easy. I guess he yeah he should have had a bodyguard for Mister Throw. He should yeah. Anywhere front, side, back doesn't matter. Neck, but next to him somewhere. Yeah. Even if it was just to get the intercept. Yeah. It just yeah. complicates it a bit if they bolt him. Yeah. Because again, he didn't have the Edge 5 2 heads guy, which well, I wouldn't have necessitated a bodyguard. No, at which point you just, you have to, I don't know what you do about that. I don't know what you do about a strength 5 war dancer. Yeah, exactly. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, because uh, turns, turns out that's fine, but it shouldn't have been. Yeah. You, you just don't play the game. Yeah, pretty much. Try to beat him in the old scheduling. Schedule for Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, 12 a.m. <laughs> Hope for the best. <laughs> that's the absolute. That's the absolute number one uh, time to schedule a game for Thursday, 12 a.m. 12 a.m. <laughs> There's no need for school or coach on proper scheduling wins. That I mean, that is un undeniably the best time is Thursday, 12 a.m. Nothing beats that. Uh, hello, Satterfield. You've messed up there, but that's the wrong muppet. <laughs> hello, Satterfield. There's, there's a better muppet you should be using. <laughs> better back, man. <laughs> Why is muppet so small? I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe he's a bit too big. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's about life size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got those big snaky hands that make up for it. <laughs> I love all the hand actions in 2K. And all his glorious Saturn, that is true. Yeah, so Beer Monkey's got the chance of the one turn, but it is against two stand firm. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. Well he's got he's got he's got he's got Glad! Oh no, no he doesn't. No he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, this guy's got this guy's got got uh, got juggernaut actually. His blitz has got juggernaut. I mean, there's still riots. So he can hit this quick one. Quick snaps. He can hit this one for for one push, but he needs two. So he's got a. He's still he, yeah the yeah it doesn't matter that much. Has he got a dodge in? Does he, I don't know what does he do. It's not easy. I don't think you found the right word, Jim. I don't think it's. I don't think that wizard was terrible. I think he had to find a time to use it. And whilst it was ambitious, at least there were ways that worked. That yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Ambitious. I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I, I kind of like it, right? Because I think Crimsonic did the right thing. Of oh, the the the. Uh, it's probably actually possible with the uh, quick snap. Oh. Um, the thing. The thing was. The Beer Monkey did the right thing, even though he didn't put the bodyguard there. He did the right thing of not engaging and just fully protecting the ball. Maybe he's, you know, maybe he's a worse player. Would have, yep. would have gone in, tried to pile into the rats, and then if he piles into the rats, then all of a sudden that screen is is weak, and and then yep. that was it would be been, become devastating. So yeah, there, there there was a chance for what he did to work. Sure, there really um, was. Yeah, there was the handoff. We don't even get to see what he was thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he needed to power the stand firm, and then then it would have been quite quite feasible to have uh, to have got the one push that he needed. It, it would it wouldn't have been terrible, but um, yeah, it was it, it was it was long odds. Um, so there you go. Commiserations, Beer Monkey. Congratulations, Crimson Eek. Thank you. And for... I did think he played a fantastic first half. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Like no, no offense at all. Like you know, the the, the the defense was a bit wild, wasn't it? But uh, it 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 could have worked. It could have worked, especially if Crimson Eek had done the wrong thing. So yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So congratulations, Crimson Eek. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, both coaches. Yeah. Yeah, well played. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and Muppet. Lovely to have you on. Absolutely glorious. And, uh, no problem. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.